Okay guys, Paul Tarrant here and today we're going to have a quick little video for you just to show you how to remove the footer section of an Elegant Themes template. Now I'm on my website over here and this is using the Divi template by Elegant Themes and what I'm specifically referring to is this area over here, the footer section where it says designed by Elegant Themes powered by WordPress. Now a number of you are wanting to know, well, how can I get rid of that? You know, how can I add my own information or uh, or you know link to another website or you know change menu systems or you know add a link to a menu system etc so how do we change this because um, elegant themes actually don't give you an option to be able to change that in the traditional setting so here's my uh, divvy over here and in all these settings over here they don't actually allow you to change the footer so what you need to do is you actually need to go into the appearance setting so you click on appearance you click on editor and then you need to click on footer now this is as I say it's the only way that you can do this I don't know if they're going to be making changes to this in the future I think it's just a, a case of them wanting to you know promote their templates so they, they try and keep that footer section there as much as possible but we're gonna try and remove that now for you so you see that it says theme footer so we're in the editor section this is where you can edit templates and we click on theme footer and now what we're going to do is we're going to just scroll down to the bottom bottom and here we can see a p now p is this is html coding for paragraph so this is a paragraph of text where we can see that it says design by and then that's just a little bit of code which basically something that elegant themes coded themselves to say elegant themes and powered by um powered by wordpress so all you got to do is you just got to get rid of all of this code over here between um, you see here start bracket P and then in bracket so you start it over here and then you select up till this uh, start bracket and then uh, forward slash P so this is all code so um, basically what you're wanting to do here is you just want to press delete and now you can type in whatever you want so for example it could say design by your company name here now this would be you know obviously beneficial if you run an agency or something like that and now I just let me just quickly undo that designed by your company name here that was just a little slip of the keyboard there uh, designed by your company name here and if we click on update file and we go back to my website and I'm just gonna press refresh you should now see that that bottom section over there has been changed designed by your company name here what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna say copyright um, copyright Porter on associates but you could I'll, sh I'll demonstrate this to you too of actually being able to add a link so let's say that you want to link to another website of yours so again a little bit of coding is needed to be known here um, and let us link for example to my other website which is the discount codes website for internet marketers i am discountcodes.com and then um, visit our sister site for the best internet marketing deals you see this is quite a good place to put a, a keyword that is relevant to your industry in the footer of your website because it's obviously on every single footer of every single page of your website this link will now be so that's quite good from a traffic point of view and also from a search engine optimization point of view and then what I need to do is I have a link so I've got to pre do a little bit of coding there to end the link over there okay if you're not familiar with coding you know just play this video a few times and just you know copy it step by step and you'll you'll get there and I'm just gonna press refresh and now you see at the bottom there it says visit our sister site for the best internet marketing deals and if we click that it will then take us to that website over there okay so that is how you do it um, as I say I don't know if in future editions of elegant themes they're going to be adding the option to remove that footer um, but this is how you have to do it you have to go to appearance editor and then click on the theme footer or as you see there in brackets is footer.php now there is one thing that I've got to mention about this particular way of doing this as I say I, I really 
I really think Elegant Themes is, is, is trying as much as possible to kind of prevent this in many ways. So what happens is every time you update the template, whatever template of Elegant Themes you have, every time there is an update for it and you press update, um, the footer section is going to be reset. So you're going to have to do this again. Now, I've already done this probably about four or five times myself in the last two years. Um, and this is why, you know, I recorded this video and it was still, you know, recently updated and it reverted back to the default Elegant Themes footer. So just bear that in mind. Every time you update it, you are going to have to repeat this step. But it's quite simple. As you see, it takes literally one minute to do and you're done. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. But as you can see, it's quite a simple little fix. And um, if anything, probably my number one tip here would be to use that space to link to another website of yours or maybe uh, an affiliate link of yours. You know, you might want to say something similar to what I have over here. You know, this website hosted by, you know, Traffic Planet, etc. But um, definitely use that space there um, because it does appear on every single page of your website. Okay, any questions, comments below. Love to hear from you. Bye-bye.